An elderly Colorado Springs man is back home with his family tonight. He'd been missing since Friday afternoon. And it turns out he was actually pulled over by police early Saturday morning on a suspected DUI case, but the officer let him go. We talked with the man and his son about it and the lessons they're taking away from a scary 72 hours. Cardio News Channel 13's Eric Fink has that story. Be a great to be home. 83 year old Albert Tumblin is thankful to be safe and back with his family. A routine trip to the store for a birthday card turned into a long, harrowing trip that took Tumblin to the northeastern part of Colorado and back. Hell, I just made the wrong turn and just, just kept going. <laughs> and I couldn't realize exactly what, what direction or where I was going. Albert's son says his dad has mild dementia and became disoriented behind the wheel. He was pulled over by a Springs police officer on suspicion of DUI at Vickers and Academy around 4 o'clock Saturday morning. But police say he passed a sobriety test, so an officer let him go. But Albert Jr. says that officer should have done more. But he sure didn't protect him by sending my daddy back in the car, putting him back in the car and letting him drive home or letting him drive off. Okay, my dad is 84 years old. He will be 84 September 18th. He should have made sure my dad was uh, was helped a little more than what he was. Police say Tumblin answered all of the officer's questions and did not appear at risk. We cannot force a person to receive services or support to keep them safe if they don't want those services, even if they have dementia. On Sunday, Tumblin drove almost to the Nebraska border before turning back and driving to Pueblo. More than 48 hours into his journey, Albert was spotted right here behind the wheel of his car late Monday evening at the home of a retired Pueblo sheriff's deputy. The deputy knocked on the door and asked if Albert needed help. Albert said, please call my family. Albert Jr. is just thankful his dad is alive. He says the family learned a very important lesson. This is the end for my dad driving behind the wheel, you know what I'm saying? And I know he likes his independent. He's a, he's a good guy and everything, but you know it's just time to be a little more cautious. In Colorado Springs, Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Eric. And senior care expert Kent Matthews tells us that if Albert had a safe alert bracelet, the officer would have known immediately that he needed help. Right now, we're putting more information on that bracelet for you on our website, caredio.com.